When you go to start your BMW, does it sound like this? If so, you need a flywheel. Um, this damage is frequently caused by the starter being removed at some point and not torqued sufficiently or not aligned like the alignment pin missing, which is the case with the original starter from this one. Um, unfortunately with this, we did not find the damage until after putting the clutch, uh, modified clutch in and uh, so we get to do all of this labor over again. Uh, the bike was not running when it came in. So that's the project for today. And we'll show you the damaged flywheel and I have another example here on my wall. We'll show you those when we get it apart. If you're up to this point already, congratulations, you're almost there. I don't recall these flywheels being indexed, which means you want to bring your timing mark, the OT window, align that in the hole on the side, just like you were doing a valve adjustment. So you're going to remove this window, this little rubber plug and we're going to turn the engine over for the ratchet and extension on the socket until we reach the OT and then we're going to loosen these up. Or let me clarify, what we're going to do is before we remove the flywheel from the crank we're going to make sure that OT tab is in the window so that we can replace, put the replacement flywheel on in the same position. That's the important part. So your next stage is going to be removal of the five flywheel bolts. You can do this one of two ways. You can either buy a flywheel locking device like this old Motion Pro tool. Oh, I don't remember the number, but it ends with D427. Just cut the end off and I threaded a bolt into it so that it can fit up here to lock the flywheel in place. Then you can use a conventional breaker bar and do it by hand. The other way is, this is one of the few areas and I'm okay using air tools. You can use a half inch drive impact gun. Again, remember we mentioned the OT mark that you see through your inspection window. You need to make sure that that's where this is right now or note its location somehow so when you put the new replacement flywheel on, it can go in the right position. It all it, it does these do have an alignment a little nub that fits right there a little pin correlates with what's on the flywheel as the pictures you showed so we're in good shape so we can slide down and we are going to use new bolts the torquing sequence of these is kind of funky hang in there with five new bolts get them started Okay. 
back in a minute to show you how to torque these. Once you have your five bolts threaded in, you're going to use your torque wrench. Set it to 40. That's the last one. 40 newton meters. I've already done all of these except for this one. Now, you're required to add an additional 32 degrees to each bolt. You laugh. I'm not joking. What you need is the same tool we use for the oil heads at the 600 mile service. I'll show you how to use that now. What you do is you use this little dial indicator in between your breaker bar or ratchet and the socket. And some have an alligator clip on the end, some have a magnet, doesn't matter how it does, doesn't even matter if it has one, you just need to pay attention to where you're going. Ah crap, that needs to go up, right? How's that looking? Well, Good yeah, neighborhood? Yeah, yeah, you can see it. I think it's on zero. Okay. Now we're going to turn it 32 degrees. Oh, you got to lock it. Yeah, that's going to get locked. Okay. Right? Yeah. 32 degrees, right? Mm-hmm. And that's it. About 32 degrees. That's kind of a pain in the ass. So now we'll reposition. We're going to stay on that bolt. I'm going to mark that green so we know that's been torqued and move to the next one. It's 20. About 30, right? Yep. When you're done with each bolt, I usually mark it just so you don't accidentally go back and redo a bolt. Um, that's it. So at this point now you're going to assemble the clutch and reinstall the transmission. Next up we'll show you what this is supposed to sound like when you start it. Thought we were done for now. We're not. Don't forget your little flywheel tool. You'd be very unhappy if you put your transmission back together and uh, find that you have to pull the transmission apart again or out again just to get that out. So don't forget that. <laughs> Remember, there's really no need to use new clutch bolts. Uh, the torque is 12 newton meters. And do that in a crisscross pattern from one side of the clutch to the other, obviously. That's it. Make sure your throttle cables are seated properly before you start the engine or reinstall the panels. See how that barrel's sticking up out of there? goes down there like that not like this as a quick side note that's probably the number one springtime problem with an oil head is the battery goes dead over the winter customer changes the battery on their own accidentally dislodge the throttle cable in the process don't know it start the bike up runs like complete shit call the dealer all in a panic seems like it's running on one cylinder that's the deal it's usually the cable pulled up so always check that both sides right side and left side 
So now we're at the point, our battery is in, we're going to do a quick test, see what it sounds like. No clashing, no grinding, no screeching or grating or anything like that, even this close. And that's what we're after. So if your oil head sounds like this one did at the beginning of the video, don't be scared. It's not that difficult to change the flywheel and you can usually find a used flywheel for, uh, you know, well, right now, a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars. How, how much is a new one you ask? <laughs> Current price in December of 2013 for a flywheel from BMW is $351. It's a piece of stamped metal. As you see here. But that's what they get for them. So if yours sounds that way, it's not a big deal to replace it. Um, you should be putting the modified clutch disc in this anyway if you have a hydraulic operated clutch, not a cable operated clutch. And um, It's easy enough to get the transmission out and we're working on a full detailed video of that for the near future. Good luck. So, starter's installed. Brandon's gonna give it a shot. This is what it's supposed to sound like. Was, this is a bit louder than normal because the baffle is falling apart. You can see pieces of it hanging down inside. So, it's, it's a rattler. But that's the way your starter is supposed to sound. So if yours doesn't sound that way, um, you really should fix it before you end up stranded somewhere. You can still bump start these bikes. You usually you to need third or fourth gear. Um, not often you have to do that though. Unless your flywheel stripped and you're at that dead spot, you're kind of stuck sometimes. <laughs>